guys welcome back and in today's video i've got something exciting we are going to be comparing parrot os with kali linux we see which one you would prefer which one is your hacking distro and also we'll be just comparing certain stuff like common stuff so you don't want to miss that so let's jump into the video so the first thing that we're going to look at here is the look so here i'm using the default curly linux uh, look but also the desktop looks nice especially if you're using the genome uh, desktop environment of which i'll show you later on into the video so we'll compare it using the same default desktop that you install it usually with then here on my right we can, you can see we have parrot os so this is the current you know look and feel of the desktop by default you've got your applications we've got your places meaning access to documents folders and network places you've got system we'll also look into that then you've as you can see you've got three icons which is a browser your terminal and your text editor as you can see comparing it also with Kali Linux here on the side on my left you can see we've got an application tab which is that icon there here you've, you've got a button to minimize all your open windows on your desktop you've got your directories meaning your folders you've got your text editor then you've also got your browser and your terminal so as you can see Kali Linux has a lot of things on its side and also you can switch between your two desktops that you've clicked your virtual desktops you can switch just by going through either one or two as you can see I'm on one I can switch to my other desktop comparing to Parrot OS same thing here by the corners on the right you've got your time and it's showing you that you're connected over ethernet then you've got your audio input uh, sound let's say your volume then here you've got your notifications then you've got your computer and your lock screen and logout and all those things that in terms of you want to log out suspend or shut down similarly here on Parrot OS it's kind of different here you only have the time ethernet and audio and like switching it off you have to go here where it says menu then from your menu tab that's where now you can either click turn off or lock the screen or exit or end the current session that you are on right now okay so and as you can see in terms of its menu it has this type of a menu which pops out from the corner i think you should be able to change this as well then also on Kali Linux you've got the menu right there which pops up from the top corner as you can see there so this also depends or it would differ depending on the desktop environment you're using because some of these tabs and icons will be in different places depending on the environment that you're running okay so now let's jump into the very exciting tools of which is our hacking tools and all the pen test tools that come by default with Kali Linux and also with Parrot OS so on Parrot OS you have to, once you click the menu you want to click where it says pen testing so now which is penetration testing so you want to click that then it will give you a list of all the things that it has by default as you can see under pen test which is these icons right here but from here this is not arranged properly in a sense so we're not going to use this but we are going to use this application tab by the top so you want to click there and then from here now you're going to hover on the pen test as you can see now it's making more sense now it's categorize all of them the way it should categorize them so if you compare that to Kali Linux of which if you click the application tab okay so on Kali Linux, Kali Linux side as you can see saying all applications but it has also categorized all our tools in perfect order as you can see we've got information gathering so these are these are all the tools that you can find under information gathering as you can see nmap these are very common tools same thing under vulnerability analysis uh, password uh, cracking as you can see you've got a lot of options here okay so now let's compare the tools on the other side of Parrot OS since Parrot OS is a competitor of Kali Linux so now under pen test 
we'll start with the information gathering as you can see they have similar uh, similar tools as you can see you've got wireshark you've got recon you've got nmap all these tools of which if you go under information gathering here you see all the tools here so don't worry if you have not seen wire uh, wireshark because it is there i'll show you it's just in a different category on kali linux so if i can find it yeah as you can see here under spoofing that's where wireshark is so depending on the distro that you have either parrot os or color linux that too will be in a different location as you have seen so if we go again under pen test you can see let's say for example wi-fi or let's say start with password attacks so under password attacks you've seen you only have local attack offline so under local attacks you've got this then under offline attacks you've got john so john and johnny they are similar john is a cli so meaning it's a command line based application so it will run in the terminal and then john is a graphical user interface as you can see it is even bringing the gui when you hover on it then you've got these other tools which is similar to uh, kali linux as well of which under kali linux under wi-fi tools you've got Wi-Fi, you've got this, you've got that. So these are the ones you have under the category of wireless attacks. Then under password, you've got you've got these types of password cracking tools. And also the good thing I like about it, it also gives you word lists. So here you've got a lot of word lists on Kali Linux. Okay, then you can choose here. You've got John. You also have John the Reaper. Okay so as you can see here under offline attacks online similarly to what is here as well under password you've got all these options as well on kali linux as well so you can choose you can by ticking the toggle there you can like drop them down as well as you can see you've got a lot of options with kali linux out of the box as long as you download the standard version you should get all these tools by default installed already on your system okay same thing let's go under the same you can see under reverse engineering these are the options that you will get as you can see you've got also a lot of tools under wi-fi testing you've got also a lot of tools you can use like this these are common ones like wi-fi these are common uh, tools you would use in terms of a wi-fi attack so as you can see both of the operating systems will do the job for you so it also comes down to preference which one do you prefer so uh, looking at the two distros and the reputation you know that Kali Linux has a larger population or a larger community who are using it but uh, ParotOS is also coming up with a great number of people trying to check out and improve uh, Parrot OS as well. So both of the distros are good distros. You can use them for the job which is pen test. And also by default, we can also go on the terminal here. You just see the difference as well. So I'll open up a terminal here. Then I'll also open up a terminal there. Okay. And one of the common things you have to note with uh, PopOS and Kali, the navigations on Kali are on the right, and then on ParrotOS, the navigations are like a mark which is on your left side. Okay, so as you can see here, all the distros pretty much uh, have something similar which is the username and the account uh, name also on the terminal there as you can see here they all have that squiggly line which means a uh, home directory so if i was to just open up a hacking tool right now so sudo wi-fi i'll press enter since i don't have any wi-fi card oh my number of is off I don't have any Wi-Fi card at the moment in monitor mode, so this is expected on my side, but as you can see, it is trying to run that same thing here. I can do sudo Wi-Fi, and then I can put in my password, okay? So as you can see, both have uh, the same version of Wi-Fi installed. 
so they are all saying the same thing meaning they have also both failed to find uh, a network that, that is in monitor mode okay so that's just some of the quick things you, you need to take note if you are getting started with both of them and both of them have similar features as i said earlier so if i open up my home directory then what you're going to see here is exactly what you're going to see on uh, Kali Linux but depending on the desktop environment that you're using some of these things might be different but as I said everything is good for the job you can use any of these two for the job but if you are looking for something that is usually most popular uh, Kali Linux is a way to go but I would also suggest that you try out ParatoS to see if that can work for you as well. So that's it for this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more distro wars because this is the first episode and you don't want to miss what is coming next. And also you, if you want to check out how to hack using a Raspberry Pi, I've got videos in the description and more to come so make sure you subscribe to the channel see you in the next video